Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give our praise, the glory, and honors unto uh, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Makar Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Uh, Shalom uh, to the hopeful elect. Um, I just want to, you know, speak a few words, you know, real quick uh, in transit lesson uh, pertaining to um, this uh, trial of ours, trial of our faith, you know. Um, <clears throat> I was, uh, you know, just meditating real quick on, uh, you know, how basically America is uh, shutting down, you know, Babylon the Great. Um, it's like if I didn't say it, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, of course, all praise going on, it goes into your by Shmuel was shy, by some cockle dies, double honors the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. <clears throat> But um, and um, so I do want to say, um, this uh, trial of these these times that we're going through right now with America shutting down, these are trying times, okay? Trying times. These are the uh, times that uh, our, our Savior Yahweh Shai spoke about. You know. Towards the end, you know, major prophecies have come in the past uh, at a rapid, rapid rate, rapid, rapid rate. Um, and um, like I said, so I was meditating on basically Babylon the Great shutting down. You know, America has these different um, businesses and, and, and stores and things, you know, changing their hours, either opening early and closing early or. You know, they're opening late and, you know, still closing early. Um, you know, because I was, you know, I'm getting off of work. So <clears throat> I'm seeing a lot of these uh, workers standing outside, you know, talking, waiting, you know, for a ride home or the, taking the bus or, you know, certain places are closed. So I was just meditating and thinking, like I said, well, this place is is. It's shutting down, and that's basically what you do, you know, when you go into a supermarket, and uh, after so long, you know, uh, uh, certain items might might not sell, or they may have a surplus of items, and what they do is they'll put those certain particular items in something called a clearance bin. Well, that's what's going on with America, you know, America's basically being put into the clearance bin, you know, and what it's doing is you know, from the top to the bottom, it's affecting everybody, you know, even us in the faith. So the point that I want to hit is in uh, 1 Peter chapter 1 and uh, 7. Um, I'll read this real quick while I can. It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perish, it, though it be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai. So what we're going through is a trial of our faith, especially coming into these days now that things aren't as what they're, you know, used to being, okay? Um, the economy is, 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 is basically, uh, you know, through, okay? Um, the, um, Non the non-financial debt of America has reached over 55 trillion. The uh, the U.S. federal debt is over 26 trillion dollars, um, and they've just reported a spike in uh, coronavirus cases in like 12 different states. I believe Texas is uh, has the most cases right now, um, but I do know at least as of uh, yesterday. Okay. Um, so, you know, and then, of course, you know, we've had the different racial tension, you know, the riots and protests that have been happening around the country and around the world, which is basically part of the signs that the end of this world is here, the society is here, uh, the end of the society is here, and that's prophecy, you know? So the trial of our faith, you know, which is being tried by fire, is basically as this society breaks down and as it... it, it it falls down. We have to go through. Um, we have to go through. Um, 
you know, changes, you know, when, you know, uh, you know, going back to about two months ago, you know, when everyone was, you know, speaking about the uh, stimulus checks, you know, um, that was a big gift, okay, I should say a big gift to, uh, to the American people. You know, by the government to basically uh, keep people spending, you know, being able to live their lives as uh, normal as they are used to, you know, living it. And, uh, you know, a lot of brothers in the faith and sisters, I, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, we're go- you know, we're basically catching hell, you know, some you know, I mean, for the most part, I believe a lot of us, you know, have received it. But then there's certain people that, you know, that 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 haven't. And my point on speaking on, on this is, you know, you had a lot of, you know, a lot of people saying, oh, well, uh, you know, I don't want no money from me, so I don't want to check. You know, which they gave it to us anyway. You know, they gave us the money anyway, you know. Um... But now, you know, we're seeing where they're giving us another, you know, they, they're talking about giving us another check. And, um, you know, it's, um, you know, now you have a lot of brothers and sisters are looking forward to it, you know. So basically what, I'm, what I want to say is don't give your hopes up, you know. Don't give your hopes up on this society, you know, um, because this is a, a a a systematic shutdown. You know, it's every you know every you know everything is being done by numbers. You know, everything is being done, you know, through progress. You know, it's a progressive, gradual shutdown that Esau is doing, and really, our hopes should be in Yahweh Bashmiyah with Shai. You know, another point that I want to make is, uh, you know, uh, for a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of us out here, we, um, you know, we work certain schedules, so, you know, certain jobs, and, you know, like I said, a lot of these places are closing early, and, uh, you know, you can't get to certain stores, you know, because of traffic, you know, now that things are opening up, or, you know, wearing these different masks and, 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 you know, it's just a whole big mess, you know, but that's just part of our, our trial that we got to go through because what this is doing, this is purifying us. You know, it's adversity, you know. Um, I'm actually trying to think of even more examples, but, you know, the point is, as America shuts down, there's a lot of different examples of um, you know situations to where you know we may not know when um, you know uh, you know checks are coming or money's coming or you know work because a lot of a lot of us are out of work too as well. With the, you know there's certain things opening back up, but there's also some of us uh, out of work. You know. And um, that right there, like I said, that's part of the trial of our faith. Okay, that, you know that's part of the trial of us. You know whether or not we're gonna, you know, trust in this system. And because you gotta remember, remember, you know, this is the things that we've been talking about, preaching about, you know, speaking on. Hey, America's gonna fall. Well, it, you know, it's not gonna fall at one time. Okay, it's gonna be. A progress, so let us not get um, discouraged. You know when things, you know day to day or week to week change. You know, um, a lot of businesses and malls and stores, J.C. Penney's and different stores are are shutting down stores, and they're you know they're leaving certain employees out of work. But this is all a part of Yahweh Bashmiyahu's plan. You know, if he wasn't brought over here to sustain ourselves and live, you know, 
the American dream, okay, you know, this was a a place of our punishment for a time, okay? So I, I want to read this verse again, First Peter 1 and 7, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold. See, our, the trial of our faith, our, this thing is way much more precious, man, okay? It says, more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire. Though we got to catch hell, though we've seen America collapse and, you know, things are, 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 are different, you know. Certain uh, lockdowns and curfews and things like that. It says, uh, might be found unto praise and honor. Because we're going to get a good honor and praise if we continue teaching the word for those of us that, you know, teach. Uh, of course, believing in Yahweh Bashmi Shai and utilizing prayer and everything we can, fasting and just bettering ourselves, you know, that's going to give us honor because if we endure to the end, like it says in Matthew, the 24th chapter, then that's what we're going to get. We're going to get the praise. We're going to get honor. It says, and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai, uh, whom having not seen, I'm going to read verse 8. Whom having not seen, ye love. We love you, how about me, I was shy. But that love is going to be tested with us, you know, catching hell in America, especially in these last days, especially as this society and Esau and the elites inch towards, um, you know, with the, the microchip implant, you know, the mark of the beast being implemented, you know, tracking and tracing and things like that. You know, we have to show that, look, we're not going to lose faith in our power. OK, it says in whom, though now you see him not yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. So the end of our faith that we continue to believe, then that's going to lead to our salvation. You know, amen. America's out of here, you know, whether we, you know, this is, you know, get you know, a, a certain amount of money to sustain ourselves or not, eventually it's all going to lead to the mark of the beast, and we know we're not supposed to take that, you know, the microchip implant. So, um, you know, we just have to to continue enduring, you know. Um, I know, this, you know, what the scripture says, you know, though, though, Chastisement at the moment doesn't feel good, but it it wildeth. It it matter of fact, let me just get it real quick, All right? Because it yieldeth. Uh, right, uh, uh, Hebrews twelve and eleven. Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. You know, we catch hell. You know, the fire. You know, we all about shine with shine. He shows us, you know, certain things at certain times and does things in our lives that, you know. That grieves us, but it says, nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness and them unto them which are exercised thereby. So if we exercise our faith and believing, you know, then that's going to lead us to getting that honor and that praise and that salvation, you know. But um, I didn't want to make this too long. You know, I was just meditating on, you know, how, you know, as America falls, you know, that means we have to, to believe in the Lord more. And also, too, as the place of our punishment falls, that means, you know, a certain level of the curses are going to be overturned. As it says in Deuteronomy 33, as it says in Deuteronomy 33, and um, um, it's like you're 30, all right, Deuteronomy 30. And then it's going to be putting our enemies, but we're going to receive the blessings. And there's a lot of blessings that are going to come to uh, the elect, you know. So we just got to be meditating on the kingdom, you know. Put our affection on things above. But, uh, you know, with that, you know, I hope this was edifying. Uh, it was just something on my mind real quick. Um, our praise of going on is going to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the others of Great Millstone. Shalom.